Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're finally getting this Rar and Sons uh, beer out. This is their reg the Regulator. And uh, to me guys, the Regulator uh, or Regulators reminds me of the movie Young Guns where uh, they were a bunch of those guys that called themselves the Regulators. Uh, this thing here uh, is a 8.5% Doppelbach. German style Doppelbach, according to the label here, uh, says uh, it's 8.5 percent alcohol, 30 IBUs. Now I'm not seeing. It says it's a 2014 bronze and a 2015 gold medal winner. Now I don't see where they got that from. Whether it was GABF or some other uh, uh, beer festival. Uh, these guys out of Fort Worth, Texas. This was sent to me by Dr. Brandon. So, uh, got several Brandon that send me beers. <clears throat> and this is uh, uh, the one that he has sent me. Uh, and I've had it for a month or two. Eight and a half percent or double bock, doppel bock. Uh, these kind of beers usually sell very well. There's nothing in there to keep you from not selling this beer, as far as I know. So, uh, it's. I did read something about this. Uh, the regulators were a deputized posse, persistent and strong. They were formed to counter what was believed to have been a corrupt sheriff. The regulators were resilient, relentless individuals who rode hard across the plains. It is in this vision that we created our Doppelbach, a brawnier version of the traditional Bach that was first brewed in Munich by the Polliner Monks. Polliner makes some very tasty beers over there. They've been doing it for a long, 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 long time. These beers are basically considered a meal in the glass. A lot of times when they're fasting, they'll drink beers like this uh, to get, a, get their nutrients, basically. Uh, says here, our Doppelbach has a huge creamy persistent head with intense malty flavors and aromas with little hot presence. So saddle up and ride with the regulators. So uh, big bold beer, should be a lot of malt in here, should be uh, caramel toffee, dark fruits, a uh, big bold Doppelbach. So uh, and these and the color range is different on here. I'm going to read you what a Doppelbach is. It says here, box you know these beers with goats on the label are relatively strong German lagers. And I don't have my lager glass. I'm not going to pour it in the lager glass. I, I like using this glass for beer reviews, guys. Uh, name I suggest are typically even stronger and contain enough malty goodness that they've been considered a meal in the glass for centuries. Generally have been a full body flavor and are darker than their little Bach brothers and sisters in a higher level of alcohol. They range in color from dark amber to nearly black and dark versions also have a slight chocolate or roasted character. So, I expect this to be a big, bold, full-bodied Bach. Uh, so, that's all we need to talk about. I don't think I have any kind of IBUs listed on here. Well, I'll take that back. Untapped has it at 30. 30 IBUs. So, it shouldn't be very bitter. Should be a nice, big, sweet, malty Bach beer. Double Bach. Nice little hiss, a little bit of smoke coming out. This is a big 22 ounce bomber that Dr. Brandon has sent. One of my subscribers has been begging me to do this. I still see that beer in there. I still see that beer in there. Well, here you go, guy. I'm doing it. Cuisine is German cheese of buttery, brie, good, Swiss, earthy, camembert, fontina, 
and he goes, well, if you chocolate dishes and the meat is game, that's why they're saying the Pilsner Glass Poker Mug Science Adele. I'm using my favorite tool of glass here today, guys. And it says can be solid for a long period of time. It is a rich red ruby color. Uh, looks a lot like a, as far as appearance, like a uh, barley wine would. So, uh, didn't pour a massive head, about half a finger of head on that. Let's give it to the nose. Great big sweet malt, caramel, toffee, brown sugar, maybe some molasses. Not getting a lot of chocolate or anything, but probably some hints of some dark fruit. Smells very malty in a glass. It doesn't smell super huge and sweet like a barley wine does, but it does have some nice sweetness to it. Not getting a lot of alcohol on the nose, so it seems to be very well made. So let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dr. Brandon. Very creamy on the top. I mean, it almost looks like yogurt on the top. Khaki colored head. Final beer of the evening for me. Cheers. Very tasty. I'm not giving big, strong alcohol boozy notes on it. Seems to be very easy drinking. A lot of the I'm gonna call and I'm gonna call it like a sip. A lot of the lightweights might consider this a boozy beer at eight and a half percent. And I may have been in that category six or seven years ago. If I'd had this beer then, I might have been able to detect a little more booziness than I am now. But with all the beers that I have had over the last seven years, this doesn't seem to be boozy at all. Uh, I'm not detecting a heavy booziness or any kind of burning on the back of the throat. It seems to be a very pleasant, well-made beer. Very tasty beer. A very nice beer to share and a nice beer for the final beer of the evening before dinner. Very nice caramel, toffee, molasses notes on this beer. Very pleasant. Nice sweetness, not overly sweet like a lot of barley wines are. This seems to be very well balanced for the ABV and the malt. It seems like uh, the hops, they're not setting out. This is not a hoppy beer, but it seems like they've balanced this beer out pretty well. So, well, let me pull her a glass and sip on this for just a tad and see where we end up with this one. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Kind of nice placing effect on the glass. Not the best Doppelbach I've ever had, but decent. Uh, nice caramel, toffee, brown sugar notes, hint of a little bit of dark fruit, not much. Not giving any bittersweet chocolate or anything like that on it. Uh, decent beer. I mean, nothing to write home about. Uh, not sure I would purchase this beer if it was available here. I don't buy a lot of Doppelbox or Bach beers. Uh, I don't know why. They are just not my style. Everybody that knows me knows I like the IPAs and double IPAs and, and porters, imperial porters and stouts and imperial stouts. But I do like a change every now and then. So, uh, And this was one of them. So I do appreciate Dr. Brandon picking this up, spending his hard-earned money on it and sending it to me. Decent beer, a nice beer for the final e beer of the evening. <sighs> Wonderful notes on the beer. I mean, it's got a nice caramel, toffee, brown sugar taste. Hands with molasses. Final chug. Very easy drinking, four and eight percent. Alcohol is super well hidden. Well made beer. To me, guys, I'm going to give this a B plus. Numeric rating would be an 88. That's where I'd put this. I didn't see any kind of dating on the bottle or on the label anywhere. Uh, it's just not standing out where you can see it if it is there. And now that it's empty, I don't see anything printed on the bottle in black ink. And I don't see anything. And I've got his name here. Let me pull that off on the tape I put on here. 
it has some kind of sticker on there and the tape pulled half of it off. It says 413 2017 on there, but that's an additional label maybe the beer store put on there uh, when they got it in or something. I'm not sure whether that's actually when it was put in the bottle or not. I don't see anything written on the bottle. So, 88 for me, guys. Uh, let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 88. Hey, we're in agreement here on this one. B plus beer. And for our final check in, we're going to have to untap. They have it at 3.79. That is in their B-plus category also. So B-plus all around from everybody, guys, on this beer. So if you've had this one, the Regulator from Rar and Sons Brewing Company out of Texas, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.